It really is about time that Traxxas stepped up its game with quality. Now here, everything pretty much stayed the same, but the body is amazing. The main thing though is the VXL models are now getting the 272 transmission. So it's the Magnum transmission that you're now getting. And the price in Traxxas website for this slash is $369.99 as of this video. Uh, this is not made for advertising. Uh, this is really just to give information. So the 272R transmission, this is really the transmission that every vehicle that's two-wheel drive and tracks this line should have, even the brush models. But they're starting with the VXLs. The other transmission is not good at all. Well, I mean, it's good enough for brushless. So I shouldn't say that. But the advantages of this one is this one incorporates different features uh, that, for example, the Proline Pro Series transmission had and some other transmissions such as this aluminum plate for the motor mount which does help dissipate heat and keep the motor cool now some if uh do watch my comparison uh videos between the 272 272r those are the traxxas transmissions as well as the proline pro series transmission uh but this one one of the things this transmission also has is it has a little bit of uh a little bit of kick up into the transmission which helps with traction on acceleration uh, which is why I think the other transmissions, the, sorry, the other vehicles should have it as well. Uh, it's an oil filled differential, so it's tunable. It comes with grease out of the box, but you can use uh, uh, different fluids in there uh, to use. You can start with, for example, a 15,000. 15,000 is a good uh, weight to go with. Uh, the slipper, it's still the same basic slipper, not the best in the world. If you want to keep the slipper, Go with, uh, I believe it's the hot racing aluminum pads or the carbon fiber pads. Those are really the ones you want to go. They're longer, uh, they grip better, and they don't burn or destroy. These will just break and burn. They smell like burnt clutch, which is pretty much what it is. Uh, now, like I said, these do come in the VXLs, which isn't bad for Traxxas. If you're just comparing with Traxxas, there's other vehicles out there you can definitely get uh for this money or not far from this amount i mean i would actually steer you into getting a pro 4 uh, team associated or even the pro 2 team associated Th those would actually be my trucks of choice but i'm just talking about traxxas i'm not here to convince you to get something else this is just a feature so 369.99 the basic slash two-wheel drive, uh, as of this video, is about $229.99. So really, it's $140 more, and you get the VXL, and you get the transmission, which is actually a very good deal for Traxxas. Those are the keywords, for Traxxas. Uh, because other companies have been giving you quality stuff since the start. Uh, but Traxxas now, I mean, just the, the transmission makes it so worth it. The brushed versions are now, they look really outdated. Now, this is a still a high CG and your shocks are still rubbish. Uh, so you're probably going to want to get some GTRs at some point. Uh, if you're just getting into the hobby, you're going to blow off the plastic caps. You'll probably get the aluminum ones and then you'll start bending the shafts. So GTR lungs in the front, GTR extra extra lungs in the rear. Blue springs in the front, black springs in the rear. That's a good starting point. You can do, it's up to you, 40, 35 weight oil, 47.5, and, and 35 in the rear. It's up to you. It depends on how you drive, what surface you're going to drive it on. Uh, but that transmission, like I said, check out my videos on there. It's actually a very good transmission. That transmission is probably the best product Traxxas has in general. Uh, it's a actually just a transmission uh now you can get it also on the stampede vxl stampede vxl now here's the thing with the stampede vxl uh, i'm not really sure why uh yeah the, the, this vehicle getting it vxl it's going to be wheeling and rolling over all the time it's really high cg if you like doing wheelies this is kind of exaggerated you could uh the brush version is probably better but it's 
it's a capitalist society. It's your money. Spend it however you want. So if you want this, go ahead and get this. But uh, I would just get the four-wheel drive. Uh, for this money, $350. $350 you can get uh, a four-wheel drive. Uh, there's actually a brushed four-wheel drive. I believe it comes with the battery. I would have to check. Uh, but it comes with an LED kit, which makes it look very cool. So that's one of those things. Yes, the transmission's pretty cool, but you might as well get the four-wheel drive. Why? Because it's a monster truck. That's the reason why. Short course, go two-wheel drive. Two-wheel drive short course, super fun. I love it. Four-wheel drive too. But monster truck, yeah, you may want to consider the four-wheel drive. Uh, the only two-wheel drive I would probably get is the, the uh, Bigfoot, but that's because it's really cool. But in that case, I would actually, you know, I've been wanting the Bigfoot. I think I'm just going to get the body and put it on the four-wheel drive uh, and call it a day. That's probably the best way to go. So there's things to consider. Now, the Rustler. The Rustler is a vehicle that definitely needs that uh, 272 transmission. And some of the reasons why the 272 transmission is good, uh, I've already mentioned, but the main one is that top shaft. This top shaft is uh, solid instead of having a little roll pin like the 272. Sometimes that would snap and break. Saw that happen on a few VXLs. Uh, but now you have the Rustler. So Rustler's $350. And the Bandit, which, to be honest, the Bandit... I, actually, I, I do like the body. I mean, Traxxas has come out with some really cool paint schemes. That one's not bad. I prefer this one. Uh, but the Bandit is probably the worst handling buggy. I, I, to be honest, I would rather have a Grasshopper or a Kangaroo, for those of you that remember those. Those things were cool. These things, if you have one, have fun with it. You know, knock yourself out. But you're better off getting the Rustler if you want something low like this. And to be honest, the Bandit is a Rustler with shorter arms and different wheels and tires. Uh, the chassis is the same. So both of these two vehicles are the same, sh same chassis. So you can go back and forth between them just by swapping the links, arms. Uh, but this is the LED kit that I had mentioned. Uh, so $350 you can get this four-wheel drive with an LED. Yes, it's a brushed version. It does come with a battery, really basic. The charger's not very good, but at least you get something, $350. So it's up to you. Do you want a VXL with a really cool two-wheel drive transmission? Or if you're brand new and this is your first RC car, you probably shouldn't be too concerned about speed because you're probably gonna destroy your RC. So take it slow. This is a much cooler vehicle. $350. You get an LED kit, right? Uh, again, can you get other stuff for this money? Yes, you can. But this video is not about promoting or comparing one brand versus the other. It's just to show you the current lineup that Traxxas has, as I do believe that Traxxas is a good choice for beginners. I'm not saying the best choice. I'm saying it's a good choice. Well, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative or at least entertaining. Uh, please subscribe if you have not, and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,